Hello and welcome to another Wobby Camera Guy video. Have you ever wanted to create a video with some scrolling text that goes from left to the right across your screen? Well, if you have, this is a simple way of doing it, utilising HitFilm Express. So let's get started. So I've got a video clip in my timeline, just an hour red shot of a couple of boats. What I like to do is have some text appear. So it comes from the left of the screen and enters into the centre of the actual video clip itself. So how do we do this one? Well, what we have to do is create a composite shot. So I'll hit composite shot, click OK on the defaults, click new layer, click text, and there's our new text layer. I'm going to rename this. So I'm just going to do a right click, hit rename, and I'm just going to call this first line. Okay, so that's first line. Click on the first line's timeline point. You see there now we've got the um, cursor flashing there because we were now this is our position where we're going to put some text. So I'm just going to write first line. So what I'd like that to do is that I'd like that text actually to be in the centre of the video clip around about zero three seconds into it. So I'm going to move my timeline cursor to around about zero three seconds. It doesn't have to be precise, but there we've got three seconds. And what we do is we have to create an, an anchor point. So hit the little symbol there. Hit transform, click in the little sort of down shape sort of symbol there called position, and you can see there it's actually put a keyframe point. So in other words, that's an anchor point in time, and it knows that that text is there three seconds into the video. So what we do now is move the cursor right to the very start of the video, and you'll notice we've got two pairs of digits here, bar sign 0, 0.0. And what these are, these are the actual sort of um, if you like, sort of the, the, the datum points for the, the positions of the text. And what it is, is that left-hand pair just is the horizontal datum, datum point, and this right-hand pair there is the vertical datum point. So in order to move that text, you simply just put your cursor over those two digits, hold your left button down, and move your mouse to the left-hand side, and you see that the actual sort of text disappearing. So when I hit play, there comes our first line of text, and it goes into the centre of the screen. You see it jerking around a little bit. That's unfortunately just a, um, a problem with the, with the viewer in HitFilm Express. When you actually export the video, it is a lot smoother, but for some reason on the playback in the viewer, motion is always just that little bit jerky. What I'd like to do with this text is actually sort of wait another three seconds, and then I'd like it to actually disappear off to the right-hand side, just for the hell of doing it. So I need to make now another sort of anchor point in time. So what I do, I simply copy that sort of anchor point there. So I, if I hover over it, do a right click, hit copy if I can find it. Anywhere in this dark gray area, click paste, just with the right button on my mouse, and it's created there another sort of point. If we now move to around about sort of nine seconds, again, I'm just gonna grab this um, pair of digits here, again, with the left arm, um, button on my mouse, hold it down, and now just moving this across to the right, and you see the text disappears. So if I play the video clip from the start, there's our first three seconds, it holds in the center of the video clip, and it moves over to the right hand side. And what we can do to help smear that out, if you just highlight all four keyframes, and the way I've done that, you just hold down the left button on my mouse and just drag it across, do a right click, Temporal impolation, it's smooth, it actually helps smooth those out. So now I'm just going to reduce that down. What I'd like to do then is have another piece of text that actually comes from the top, goes into the center, and drops down to the bottom. So I'm just going to move the cursor down to around about sort of three seconds so I can see where that first text um, position is. Click new layer, new text, Let's see that new text. Do a right click, rename it, we'll call it second text. Okay, just click that layer there. Whoops, let's move that timeline back. Go click. There we go, the second line. So, as you can see there, see our cursor flashing away for our second line of text. So, I'm just going to put our second line of text in. So, that's second text. You can see it's written over the first because we want it in the same sort of position, but I'm simply just going to move that. So, I click the little arrow, move it down and just get it to where you want it to be. Okay, so we do a very, very similar thing as we did to the first one. So we want to is come back to around about sort of three seconds. We click on the little sort of triangle symbol, go into transform, click 
click the position, see that now it's put another sort of point in time. Come right to the very start of the video, but this time we're now going to utilize the right hand pair of digits. I'm going to move that up. So all I've done, I've just clicked on the left button of the mouse, hold it down and moved it across to the right. So when we play our video clip now, you'll see our first line and our second line. Now then, what I want to do equally, after around about six seconds, I want that second line of text to disappear down the bottom. So I've just moved that curve, timeline cursor around about six seconds, do exactly the same thing as did before. So I'll hover over that sort of and keep right, do a copy anywhere in the dark area, do a right hand click, click paste, come to nine seconds, get that across there, that's, that's nine seconds, and simply again grab all of the, these um, right hand pair of um, digits, left hand button on your mouse and just move it to the left. And I'm going to do that is simply just smooth it as we did with the first. So I'll highlight them all, go into temporary implementation, it's smooth. So we come to the start of the video, we'll click start. There's our first line, there's our second line, and then they both move out. And that's it. Simple bit of fun really, but it adds just a little bit of variety to your video that perhaps viewers might appreciate. So if you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up. So if I rambled on a bit, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but hopefully it makes sort of sense, but you can play around it. And if, if you wanted to as well, you can just move these cursors around. So do it to sort of art content, really. You can shorten them, you can sort of uh, lengthen the time and you can alter positions and things. So have a bit of fun, really. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, and then pop across my channel, there's plenty of other videos on HitFilm Express, where hopefully there'll be one or two tips that you might be able to uh, apply to your own videos as well. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you soon.